Welcome back, friends. We're gonna do another Columbia restaurant classic, and that is our sangria. When you come to the Columbia, you can have red sangria, you can have white sangria, you can have sparkling sangria, which we call cava sangria. But today, we are going to make our most traditional and most loved sangria, and that is red sangria. One of the easiest, most wonderful shortcuts to making sangria is using our sangria mix. Of course, you can make it from scratch at home and do your simple syrup, and add all your juices, but today I'm gonna to show you how to make our packaged sangria extra special. We're gonna add one and a half cups of cold water. We're gonna to stir to combine the mix with the water. So the next step is going to be add a 750 milliliter bottle of red wine. Today we're using a Tempranillo Cabernet Sauvignon blend, but honestly you can use any red wine that you have on hand. But this wine in particular is available at our gift shops Columbia Restaurant in Ybor City and Sarasota. So now we're gonna add our red wine to our water. Your sangria is technically ready to go. All you have to do is add ice, but I'm gonna teach you how to take it one step further and make it extra special for you and your friends. The next thing I'm gonna do is add an ounce and a quarter of brandy. At the Columbia Restaurant, we use the Taurus 5 brandy. And if you don't have a bottle of brandy at home, go ahead and go pick yourself up a couple of mini brandies. I'm gonna add the traditional fruits that you usually see in sangria, especially when you're at the Columbia restaurant. A slice an orange in half, and I'm gonna squeeze the juice into our sangria. Now we need to make the garnishes for the rest of our glass. Traditionally, sangria at the Columbia restaurant is always garnished with one cherry. So I'm gonna save one for our glass and these will be for later after they've been soaking in the sangria. One for the glass and one for the rim. So the only thing we're missing for our sangria is ice. That's how you make an extra special Columbia sangria at home. Of course, if you wanna add diced pears to it, diced apples, which is a personal favorite of mine, a cinnamon stick, you can make your sangria to whatever your taste prefers. But this is the Columbia Restaurant Classic Red Sangria. Cheers.